So you found a hidden case? Yeah. We are here with a subscriber, Finley. Finley. I heard a rumor that you are uh, the head of a super secret underground bourbon society. <laughs> and that you are going to take us around to all the great spots Man, in Louisville. I, I, I don't know about all that, but I'm going to take you to taste a little something good. Well, we are here at our first spot, the Liquor Barn, here on uh, Shelbyville Road. Shelbyville Road to Middletown. We're about ready to go in and see what they got. Come along. At one point, you would have been able to find a Henry McKenna on this wall. When I was buying it a couple years ago, five, six years ago, on a regular, it's $37 to $40 a bottle. Now it's like $65 a bottle. Eagle Rare, same thing. If you get Eagle Rare at a place like this, or at Cox's, you're gonna spend 40 bucks on a bottle of Eagle Rare. Somewhere else that they don't get a lot of bottles of it, they're gonna charge you 65, 80, 100 bucks for a fifth of Eagle Rare. Not as big a fan of it as I am of this. Single barrel's gone up in value, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Single barrel used to be about 30 bucks a bottle. The Bro Brothers, gotta shout out these guys. Three local dudes here from Louisville as well. These guys right here started out a few years ago and they're taking over. This is some good stuff. Is it? Is it? Gotta go home with a bottle? I mean, I would definitely have a bottle in your collection. So they'll then, collapse. All right, how about we this? Agree. One to show, one to go. All right. There, there we go. go. <laughs> he recommended it. We got to go home with it. Will it ride? Do you have any purple tops? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They do? They're going to be over here. This one is the one we're being told to get. I think I'm gonna have to go home with this one too. Problem with the Weller, ain't nothing wrong with the Weller. It's you, all right. In my last video, uh, we talked about the color changing gin that I thought I was getting when I picked up the Indago gin. I was absolutely wrong. The Empress 1908 is the one that I was talking about. I am so sorry. I just had the name wrong, and the the fact that this is an Indigo gin is what threw me off. Snoop Dogg caught me and we got the Indago, but that's okay. And my hall monitor here is telling me that I have a budget that I have to stick to, but. So our next stop is Westport Whiskey and Wine. hidden case yeah all oh, right uh, we got it two weeks ago and it flew out of here over the weekends so there's a little bit left well all one right. more is about to fly out of here now also i can't believe this is still here this is phenomenal we're gonna take both <laughs> seeing these very old St. Nick's around and they've got a healthy price on them. So I'm assuming that they're good, but I, I'm just a little hesitant to purchase one for like 161 to 189. I'm just getting a little shy trying to buy a bottle for anything like that. So I'm going to put this back, but I'm counting on you guys to let me know if that was a mistake because I can always drive back here and I will. I 
I see you got your hands full again. He was, this is from Guyana, which is where they're from. One of the last independently owned rum distilleries, and it's from their homeland. Yeah, DDM. I can't control it. There's no budget. Yeah, there, saying there, there is. has to be a budget. Okay, well, it has to include these two. That's the sip. Well, that's the one we're going to try. We're going to be sipping it. <laughs> Straight out of the bottle, baby. Uh, hang on one second, one second, okay? Did you just hit somebody on hold? I did. Have a taste? Is that important? <laughs> that important? It's been a while. <laughs> oh, he's singing. Oh, my God. oh, that's so good. Back to your call. You know when people start singing, it is good stuff. Love it. Love every bit of it. We are here at our last spot, Frankfurt Avenue Liquors, and according to Finley, this is the saving the best for last this part. Is, this is my favorite spot. First off, they don't serve food here, no big deal. Right. But there are a couple of other restaurants around, you can bring your own food in. This right. is also a liquor store with a tasting bar inside at the same time. If there was something that you thought about tasting or that you wanted to try, probably find it here. When you get inside, you'll see what I'm talking All about. All right. Here's to the first round. Here you go, girl. <laughs> no, we just. No, we just. No, I have to try yours. Age and fruit. Oh, no, you don't get none of this. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> none of this. All right, swap them. Stag's always going to be hotter. He's, oh, he's not too much hotter. No. 126. Let's go to Willie's house, you have a taste. He had a four rows of that. Knock my tits off. That is, that, that is, a, that is some good stuff. Ball. I mean, I'm not kidding. <laughs> this one right here, 40th anniversary, barrel strength, four rows. This dude also has like eight, nine bottles of 23 right now. So the question is, why are we not there? Hey, Willie, we need to come over. Willie, we need to come over. <laughs> Next one, <laughs> the Old Forester 1990, uh, Old Brand from 2003. Can I try the Old Forester 100? Do two of those Calumet 12. <laughs> this 1968 George Dickel. Here. That is a nasty bottle. 1968 George Dickel is still pretty much just George Dickel. Just a little bit of dust on the bottle. You will be a little disappointed. Very nice scotch. It's nice and mellow. Uh -huh. I'm always very inviting. I think you would really, really enjoy it. Had a great time here in Louisville. I'm not sure that Finley is part of some super secret underground bourbon society, but he definitely knew where to take us and we could not be happier. Make sure you join us next time.